Hello, good morning everyone. So let's start our class with the writing portion only. So we have covered various letter writings in which we have covered uh, inquiry letter, placing in order, complaint letter and letter to the editor. Now this is a time to discuss about the article writing. Yes, this is also one of the very interesting uh, and uh, very, very uh, informative topic which we are doing it today. So first of all, you need to understand that this article writing is a part of long composition. Yes, absolutely. This is not a short composition. This is a long composition which requires the word limit of around 100 or 150 words. So this is the long composition part for it. Right. Next thing you need to understand it that this is the extended composition basically it means you are writing it in depth. You're not just writing it on the top of the layers. You're writing the things in a very deep or in a very depth manner. Some of the times you can find it a little difficult also because as I mentioned, you are not just writing it for the sake. You need to have the clear idea. You need to have a clear uh, knowledge of that particular topic when you are writing. Because what can happen in any of the topics, even you need to write some research or you need to do some research or you need to add upon some data records also. So you should have a thorough knowledge for it. Might be a little complicated for you, but if you are having that knowledge, if you are having that content knowledge, that matter is in your mind, you know what exactly that topic says about it. You know exactly what your points are. So obviously even you can do the research part for it. You can go with the data part of it and you can strongly keep your points for it. Next thing is that you always need to understand that your vocabulary should be simple. You need to use a very simple language. You should not use a very uh, hard or the artificial words there. Don't try to bombard the language there with a the high vocabulary. Try to be simple. Try to be as honest with it. Because you should know what your target audience is. For whom you are writing. And if your language would be simple enough, they would be easily to, uh, they would be able to understand easily. They would be uh, able to catch it basically. And try to have no repetitions in that. Whatever you are writing it, Whatever your content is there, don't repeat it. Don't repeat your points. You should follow the sequence, the logical order for that. Always focus on the main things and then come to the least one. Right? So first, uh, let's understand the objectives of this article writing. Now, objectives are, <coughs> first is to share one's ideas on some issue. <clears throat> So on some issue, you, when, you're share, when you are really sharing your ideas about it, that's one of the objectives. Then share one's experience with other. Then to discuss some event or place and to present one's point of view. So these are the objectives for it. Then we are having uh, two very important types of article writing. Very Two most important. One is descriptive. Like you are describing some person, place or a thing there. You're giving your views about it. You're keeping your points for that. Second is argumentative. That you are supporting or you're opposing something very strongly. You need to understand these things very carefully. So whatever you are writing, try to write it in general first of all. Don't write I, I, I. Just write it in general about it or what you have witnessed, what you are able to understand, what people should take it uh, is uh, take that matter and all. Now come to the uh, format part of it. Format is first you need to write on a title. Your title can be a one word or it can be five to six words. It could be a phrase also. So it should be very catchy one. Your title should be a catchy one. So with that, in the next line, you need to write down your name with by your name. So this is called basically a byline. This is basically called byline. So what you need to do is you need to write on a title then by your name. The leave line, write on your first para. Obviously, you will not write the numbering here. But your first para would be your introduction part. That what your topic is about to say. You need to introduce your topic. Right? Then second para should be your main para. That need to be have with the body of that article or the content. Where you are strongly keeping your points. 
This would be your bigger para. You are describing the things here. Third para or the last one would be your conclusion. Now, what you can do, even you can write on the body or content in two para, second and third. Then your conclusion will come as the last one, the fourth one. So in the conclusion, you can give the suggestions. You can make an appeal. You can say that the uh, authoritative people should take an action. So that would be your concluding part for it. In this manner, your title, would, uh, sorry, your article would be finished off. Remember, no I word you will mention in that. In one of the two cases, acceptable, not but not more than that. So you need to describe everything very thoroughly. You need to be extra cautious about it while writing it. Repeating it again, follow the word limit. Don't repeat the things. Use simple vocabulary. Use simple language. With that, what you need to do is title is must, byline is must here to write it and try to add some quotation in between. But don't make your article full of quotations. In speech, you can write as many quotations as you can. But here, try to have only one or two if you want. Give any data if you're having. So basically, write articles for newspaper, magazines, newsletters, everything. So you need to be very focused about your target audience. That who all are there who would read this and they would react on it. So in this manner, you will write on the whole article writing. I really hope it's clear to you. If you're still having a doubt, please ask, clarify it and send your worksheet timely. God bless you all.